Let's talk a little bit about knee pain, particularly in the front, after increased activity. Okay, so let's just first take a look at what is actually in the knee area. So there's gonna be muscles, tendons, ligaments, blood supply, nerves, and we aren't gonna go over all of that, but what I do wanna show you first is actually some nerves in the area. So anything that's yellow and looks kind of spider webby is a nerve. Some of them do muscle movement. Some of them are sensation, just the sensation of pain. They might be skin, skin numbness, things like that. Um, so if you have no changes to sensation, don't worry about that. Some of these smaller little uh, webs are gonna be the one that actually does more sensation. Okay. So what I wanted to show you in some of these, this actually where it's purple, okay, it does the actual knee joint itself, like this more kind of medial side of it and a little bit of the joint capsule. So if there's pain in there and we can't figure out why, we have to be aware of the nerves there. But let's look at these that also come down and are in the quadricep muscle. So this is part of your femoral nerve. So it stems up from the hip and it comes down. This part actually does the skin to the front of your thigh, but it also does muscle support for the actual quads, okay? And then over out to the side, you'll see another one. And then obviously there's these little branches that come down. So just to be aware of it, let's take some of that off. Let's look at muscles that connect around the knee. So one that is frequently overlooked is this guy right here, your articularis genu muscle. You don't have to remember any of this, but what its main action is, is it initiates moving this kneecap, okay? So what happens is when you are bending, straightening your leg, it helps to actually lift some of the joint capsule that lives around here so that the knee can move. It looks kind of odd because it looks like it doesn't really connect to anything, but if we add on connective tissue, all right, so we see here, I'm gonna zoom pretty far in, this articularis genu muscle comes down, it actually attaches to this, it's called a bursa, which is basically anywhere there's a bursa, it's just where there tends to be friction, which we know happens when we bend and straighten the knee, but it then ties into, this is the joint capsule of your knee. When this gets irritated, you can kind of get this little global, just soreness around the knee. It can send pain into it, but that's why I want people to be aware of it because they just think of the big quad muscle and they don't realize that there is another smaller guy at play. So when you're doing your soft tissue work on yourself, you have to dig pretty deep in here and you actually need to come in from the side. Let me add on your, I'll just add on your actual kneecap and I'll tell you how to get in there. All right, so where you see this covers up, this actually attaches to where your kneecap is. Your kneecap is under this. This is another bursa. Your kneecap is within this tendon. So when you are doing some self tissue mobilization, you need to come at it a little bit more from an angle, like you're trying to apply pressure from the side and you'll feel that tendon that you can almost kind of get underneath it and you'll wanna come from both directions push pretty hard and be kind of rubbing side to side. And you'll wanna come up a little because remember that muscle is actually underneath here. It's not directly above the kneecap. Because if we were to take off that quad again, and quad being there's four major muscles, that's why it's called your quad if you did not realize that. So you have this main guy, your rectus femoris, it actually crosses the hip joint which is why when I have you stretching your quad, you're gonna be laying on your stomach or doing it to where when you are bending the knee, your hip is not flexed forward, okay? But things like hiking, walking on an incline, this one, since it crosses the hip joint, it's part of your hip flexor, right? So it's going to help 
Let's see if we can get some motion here. It's gonna help march your knee forward. So if you're doing a lot more hiking or walking where you really have to flex up, you're gonna use that part of your quad, whereas the other ones, the other three, they do not cross the hip joint and they just bend and straighten the leg, okay? So bending, straightening the leg is going to be using that muscle, but also the other three quadricep muscles and the one that's underneath here. Okay, so those guys are thick. So if you're trying to get down to this articularis genu, you got to be pretty relaxed. Your leg needs to be straight so that your kneecap is able to move and you have to get in there a little bit more from the side. All right. The other thing that I want people to be aware of is, let's add this back on, okay. So your IT band, people are generally pretty familiar with it. The IT band cannot stretch. The only thing that can stretch or be modulated here is the muscle that ties into it. So oftentimes I will give people soft tissue work where they're laying on a ball, on the side of their hip a little bit more to the front like this or a little bit more to the back because if you can see your glute max ties into your IT band so does this tensor fascia lata muscle which also flexes your hip up and rotates your hip in. So if these guys are pulling and they're causing more pressure by pulling on this IT band, the IT band actually has fibers that connect to the kneecap and they can also start pulling the kneecap funky and giving general pain around here. It can start going down. Okay, and then lastly, I wanna take a look at, they are actually fat pads. Okay, so as you can see, there's little yellow blobs. That is fat. Everyone has it, we have to have it. And if you can see, it's really closely innervated with some of the nerves here. I'm going to take that off. The other place I wanted to show you, and it might not show up very well, is there's actual fat pads in the knee. And they sit right in here, but it might not show up. But when you are doing some soft tissue work, you're going to want to be really gentle. They're very innervated with nerves and sensitive, but you would just want to work all around the patella tendon itself just to make sure everything is moving. Okay, sorry this is so long. Hopefully that gives you a good overview of what all is going on in the knee when you have front of the knee pain.